purpose of motor starter is to allow us to start and stop a motor safely and it also allow us to start and stop from a remote operation. Hey guys, today we're going to discuss about motor contactor and overload relay and their parts. This is the magnetic contactor. This is the line 1, line 2, line 3, 1, 3, 5. And on the bottom side, we have here A1 and A2. This is our coil. When this, when we are going to supply this one, the plunger here will push down, passing from line 1 to T1. Here, this is the magnetic contactor that I disassembled to show us everything more detailed. This is the plunger, the return spring, the coil. This coil is electromagnet. There's a bunch of wire. Plunger. I'm going to put it back. This is the contact, if you are going to see here. And these two are the auxiliary contact. If you need more contact to put on your magnetic contactor, you just connect this one. The way how you connect it, you see this two, you are going to put this here. See this one? It's easy. Let's, let's do it again. The other one. This one. This block. Put it here. First, I'm going to remove this one so that you can see more. You need to push this this button, this uh, contact, in order to move down the plunger. And after that, see this block, put it here, then push, slack, to remove it. It's a little bit hard to remove. Let's do it again. Push. that this two put here now you have a lot of extra contact how many contacts you have extra one two three four five and you have one here you have six extra contacts now let's discuss the overload the overload here, T1, T2, T3, this is the current seating, the trip seating, or if you're going to stop, this one, this is the trip rung, we're going to connect it here, like that, and after that, tight. And you have a complete motor starter. Okay, let's now, let's wiring to try to simulate this one.
here. I'm going to connect to the coil. From coil, I'm going to connect the negative of the 24 volt power supply. And let's try. Now we're going to connect this motor. We are going to connect here the other positive of this power supply. After that, we're going to line one. T1 going to our motor then from our motor The other side of the motor, we are going to put it to the negative supply of our power supply, negative side of our power supply. After that, we're going to press this one. See the, see the motors running? That's it guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Today we're going to discuss about motor starter. The purpose of motor starter is to allow us to start and stop a motor safely and it also allows us to start and stop from a remote operation. Basically, a motor starter is an electromagnetically operated device that starts and stop a motor load. It consists of electrical conductor and overload relay, which provides from a short circuit and overload protection. Now we're going to our computer to discuss more detail than we do our practical exercises, just like this. Now let's discuss the two main parts of motor starter, magnetic conductor and overload relay. Magnetic conductor is common use in manufacturing company for motor control application. Its function basically like relay. When the power is supplied to the coil, it energizes the coil and makes the plungers move and close to contact, allowing the current to pass through, providing power to the motor. And the overload relay is designed to protect the motor against prolonged overcurrent. 
This means when the motor is running for too long with high current, it can overheat and destroy the motor. One of the cause for this is bad motor bearing. Now, this is the magnetic contactor, this is the overload delay, and this is the compact motor starter. This is the magnetic contactor, line 1, line 2, line 3. The main contact source is line 1, line 2, line 3, or 1, 3, 5. And on the other side, it's also main contact, but this one is a load side. 2, 4, 6, or T1, T2, T3. This is the coil, 24 volts, A1 and A2. If we are going to put source here, the plungers will move down, passing the current from line 1 to T2. Next, the auxiliary contact. We have 13 and 14 and 21 and 22. We have normally open and normally close. The next one is the overload relay. The overload relay here, we have overload current seating. So this one, if we, are, if we are going to increase the current, so we can adjust this one using screwdriver. Test trip. If we are going to try to test the overload if it is working or not, so we are, going, we are just going to push this one. This one is reset bottom. If our overload is trip, we are going to reset this one after a few minutes. If we are going to stop the motor, we can also press this one, this red button, and the motor will stop. On the other side, it's main contact, 2, 4, 6, T1, T2, T3. This is load side. This three prong here is we are going to connect here from the load side of the magnetic contactor. Here on the other side, we have also trip contact, 95, 96, 97, and 98. Normally open and normally close. 95 and 96 is the normally close. 97 and 98 is the normally open. Next, thermal magnetic circuit breaker. Our circuit breaker with built-in overload protection to save motor cost for expenses and most common type. These are circuit breakers which utilize two components to detect electrical faults. The first, the first component is an electromagnet that is sensitive to large source of electrical current like short circuit that can cause serious damage to your motor. The second component is the thermal bimetallic strip that responds to overload like bearing failure, excessive load, and high winding temperature. In this diagram, we are, all, we are already excluded the overload relay. The overload relay is already built in with this thermal magnetic circuit breaker to save money. And uh, on the on the plant, what we see is this thermal magnetic circuit breaker and the magnetic contactor. 